All right, today I'm taking a look at the Video Gear Black Mini 5. Oh, that's kind of neat. That looks nice. Oh, that's cool. So that's something I haven't seen before. This actually can accept two different types of batteries. So right here it says NPF, so you can see that that will actually take those Sony type batteries. And here it says LPE6, so that should work with my Canon batteries. Sure does. That's cool. So I think that last battery was dead, but put in a brand new one. So on the back we got menu, left, right, and exit. So they're labeled on the back, and then over here we've got uh, power, touch, and function. So I assume we can use that to turn off the touch functionality. So, menu. Peaking false color exposure. Wow, this thing has a ton of different functions on it, so that's cool. Let's, uh, let's see. Butts. Saturation. Jeez, Louise. Audio channel. Level, me level meter. I gotta see the level meter. How do I do that? Yeah, that's cool. You can just touch it. All right, we got the manual. It's this. Oh, I believe this is. I believe this is a sunshade. So we'll take a look at that later. We've got a cable. This is HDMI to. I think that's micro HDMI. And we got a mount. That's cool. So we can put this right on a, a cold shoe, and then thread this on. So that's kind of nice. You can put that on whatever kind of adapter. Or, uh, or even right on your camera itself. So this is USB-A to USB-A. So this is for plugging it directly into the uh, your computer. So if you want to use this for live streaming. So if I wanted to, I could plug my camera into this. So the HDMI would go in here. So I would have video going in and then USB out. And then I can use this for live streaming. That's why it says live stream. So this would be perfect as a, a video capture card. That you can also monitor on here. Okay, so this is, yeah. Oh, that's really strong Velcro. This is for a sunshade. Right, so you can block glares and that kind of thing. It can be really handy to have, especially if you're doing uh, direct daylight. Don't understand the folds that they put on here. Okay, well, it doesn't really give any instructions for putting on the sunshade, so I'm just going to... You know, normally, you would want it to be on the top, like that. I mean, that's the best that makes sense to me, which I guess would work. Well, it's good to have options. All right, so it does have a quarter 20 mount on the bottom and on the top and on the side. The only side doesn't have it on is this side, but you got a whole bunch of options for orientation depending on... Uh, mostly how you want the wires coming out. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see what we can get. Because this uses the same type of connection as my Canon camera, I'm going to just plug it right into where I'm looking. All right, it fits snug there. It's a kind of a short cable, so I'll have to hold it. But if you're going to be connecting it to your rig anyway, that's not a big deal. Okay, so that's cool. We actually can see this guy right here. So we can see the red, green, and blue all in once. We can see the histogram. We can see what else do we got here? RGB. What is that? Wow. Oh, that's nifty. On the waveform, we got RGB, YC, BCR, Y, and off. I'm just going to leave that on RGB because I like the way that that looks. So we can change the brightness, make it easier to see, which might be important if I'm doing this in uh, direct sunlight, anything like that. Contrast. Really play with the contrast. Saturation. Sharpness, color temperature. G gain, what is this? Not something I can't do right now. All right, all kinds of cool stuff. Camera LUT off let's take a look holy macaroni user let well okay cool oh that's lost so this is uh so if i'm shooting in raw or something like that i can change this to uh something that will be easier for me to see cool all right so this is going to be uh so for example if i want to uh, use this upside down so i want to use the top quarter 20 mod i can image flip Just 
just to make this the way that I need it. So that's cool. Freeze. Okay, cool. So if I'm putting the camera somewhere and I want to take a look at it, but I want to be able to move the camera, I can freeze it. HV delay aspect. So I can change the aspect ratio. Scan. I think this is going to uh, automatically check it out. We can turn HDR on and off. There's a lot of stuff on here. Volume. Level meter. We'll go ahead and turn that back on. Channels 1 and 2. Okay, so this is the, uh, the marker. So we can see the little plus sign in the center. Uh, let's make it red. And we'll increase the thickness. So now we can see that it is a little bit bigger. Well, quite a bit bigger. Settings. So you can change the language. This is the UI fading. And this is how long it takes for the UI to time out. So it'll go back to the regular screen. HDMI is set to 4K. We can set it to 2K RGB limited full. Backlight is 100%. So you can save some battery power if you don't need it. Oh, cool. So you can match the colors if you need to make sure that it's going to be correct with your camera. F config peaking system. Yeah, so there's a ton of stuff on here. Honestly, I think this is a really good looking display. I mean, it's real sharp. Like, I can see all the detail. I can see if I got focus. I can see my fingernails got this little damage on here. I can see everything on here. So this is going to make shooting a lot easier, especially if I'm going to be doing something like where I'm holding the camera way above where I can't actually see the screen. This is going to make it so I can see it. So real happy to have this. And I love that it uses these uh, Canon batteries. And the fact that it's a live streamer, so I can use this, plug this directly into my computer, and then run that through OBS, use this as my monitor, and then use OBS to actually transmit, that is awesome. So I absolutely love this thing.